what informs a cask's appreciation. It is fundamentally that natural maturation. And then there's a whole array of other contextual things. The, the, the distillery's reputation itself, um, awards, the quality of the liquid. On that topic, Manic Moore recently got put in the spotlight by Diageo. I'm not sure if you saw this. It was included in their third release of the Prima and Ultima collection. That's right, yeah. They had a, yes. It was a 1990 that, yeah. bottle That's right. alongside some of their more perhaps recognisable brands, a very old Brora, Port Ellen. I think there was a Talisker in there. It was a series of seven bottles, maybe, retailing for about £36,500, so very high-end premium bottles. Last year, I think it was Linkwood we saw, and the year before, Ben Rinnis included. So they are pushing these distilleries that are part of their family of brands that don't have the same reputation yet. Yeah. Um, and that's a really big thing for a distillery like Manic Moore, I believe. Yeah.